TFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 61, NASDAQ is up 80, S&P is up 20, gold contract up $3.40, trading at 1294 an ounce. You get silver up three cents, fifteen dollars seventy-two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude caught a bid up a buck twenty-five, fifty-one dollars seventy-eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, ten-year note up three ticks, one twenty-two. Thirty-year bond up two at one forty-five. Now both notes and bonds, folks, they had rejected lower price out here this morning. Bottom line, they want higher price, lower yield once again. King dollar, king dollar up one hundred and forty-three ticks, ninety-five three fifty. Um, the euro is at 114 to 1 U.S. dollar. The yen is at 108 and a half. And the pound is at 128.33 to 1 U.S. dollar. Now, this afternoon uh, at approximately 2 p.m. Eastern time to about 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, folks, you can expect heavy volatility in the currency markets. That's when uh, the U.K. is going to start uh, voting on the amendments as well as Theresa May, uh, May's uh, Brexit deal. Uh, what I expect you're going to see out here is that the, uh, the dollar's actually already started. The dollar's up, up 250 ticks. It's only up 143. I expect you're going to see that no matter what happens on the vote, the dollar wants lower price, the euro and the pound want higher price. Uh, if we go over to our own S&Ps, this is where it's going to get really interesting. And so this is what you have. Uh, SPY out here yesterday, <clears throat> bottom line was uh, re rejection lower price, had light of volume. Now the real question is going to be, can the SPY do uh, over 96 million shares out here today? We'll see, because if it does over 96 million shares, then you got some action out here inside the S&P, because that would be the swing point. Even though it's a light swing point, that'd still be a swing point, and that would establish an ABC structure on the way up. That's the, the bullish part. The bearish part would be, of course, that it does less than 96 um, million shares, and you have a contraction of price once again with light volume and if we get a rejection of that high then that's going to be trouble in paradise if we go and we take a look at the nasdaq composite what you have in the composite same type of setup the composite is up 97 bucks right now you're trading at 60 uh, at 7,000, uh, that high there is 69.91, and um, you know, bottom line, we'll see whether we uh, get the juice inside the composite. Uh, it's, it's definitely too early right now to uh, say whether we're going to get volume in it or not. The queues right now have done uh, 7 million shares, which is good volume, okay, for this time in the morning. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back to recap out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 119, Nasdaq is up 93, S&P is up 24. We'll come right back.